Hello everyone, welcome to Celebration Assembly. To those on camera, let's give a big wave to everyone and everyone at home in the bubbles. Even the person that run Miss Big Classroom. Yeah, even you, with your hand over your mouth. I know who you are, I'm not going to shout your name. Oh, that can't be, that's it. Wave to everyone. Right, I'm now going to pin my video so that I, I'm at the top of this uh, screen here. And then what we'll do, everyone, is I'll introduce the assembly. I'll go through a couple of things. Uh, I'll do the nominations uh, that have come through, but I know that there are some nominations happening right now um, in the in the group chat on this chat on this. And Mr. Thomason has a list. So Mr. Thomason will then do the second half of the assembly. Okay, hope everyone is well at school um, and at home. So I'm going to start with announcements. So the government have released guidance for a full reopening of schools in September. The next steps are the leadership of the trust and the school will be working together to put together the plans for September and we will share these with you before September. Um, but it will build on uh, the learning that we have um, uh, done, as it were, uh, in terms of the plans we've implemented and follow the guidance and interpreted so that you know, we can get our children back into school and we can keep the children and the community safe. Uh, the key thing here is everyone will have a responsibility for this uh, and doing this in a way that is measured. Uh, that means that we can all get back into school, including myself. I cannot wait. Um, and everyone else. And I can't wait to see everyone in September. So we will share these with you before September. Okay, they need to go through a process first. So that's the announcement. Second announcement is that we've got two big celebration days uh, this week. One of them happened on the 1st of July. So I'm going to, re those in school, I'm really sorry. Okay, in school at home, on three, I want you to say Happy Canada Day, particularly loudly if you're with Miss Coldwell or, or near Miss Fernandez. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Happy Canada Day! Fantastic. Well done. Um, now I hope that was nice and loud, I hope everyone heard it. Right, we've got a second time, second time to do this, and that is for our, we've got some Americans in our community, our school, okay, did a shout out to Cooper and his sister, who's who left last year, and Cooper's family. Okay, it's 4th of July, it's Independence Day tomorrow, so we're going to say Happy Independence Day, nice and loudly, so that everyone can hear throughout the school and in the community on three. One, two, three. Happy Independence Day! Wonderful. Okay, I hope you have great celebrations um, in your households um, and, and around. Okay, um, right, let's do the nominations that I've got and then I'll hand over to Miss Thomason who will do any in the chat and any on her list. So from Miss Harris and Miss Hamlin and Miss Griffin in nursery, well done to all the children who have returned to nursery this week. You've adapted your new routines and ways of working really well. Well done, nursery. Really proud of you. I reckon you're almost ready for reception, a lot of you. So I'm sure you're doing lots of hard work. From Mrs. Bethel to all the EAL children receiving additional language activities, well done and thank you to all of you who have completed the extra English language activities and regularly practice your English skills with Reading Eggs and Reading Eggs Press website. Wonderful to hear some of your parents that uh, you that you love from some of the parents that you love uh, the additional work and are keen on reading. Brilliant! Can't wait to see you again from Mrs. Bettle. So well done to everyone, and well done to everyone doing that kind of continued reading and practice. And that's the most important thing uh, we can do in in education. From Mrs. B to in, in Palmer um, Bubble Eleven. Oh, bubble Eleven, Mrs. Critchley has been amazing stepping into the bubble, helping the children with lovely artistic ideas and phonics. Two things that I know Miss Critchley is very passionate about and very good at. Thank you to Miss Critchley and to Zaheer for his good sentence construction, uh, cons uh, construction uh, for Grace, for his lovely artwork uh, for our jungle display, and Ramin for uh, working well with her partner. So well done to you. In Miss Gundry's bubble, when I just saw you uh, in bubble six, uh, Mrs Goldwater, um, 
well done to Natalia for settling in so well. I've heard that from other places, Natalia, as well. So well done. And working hard to catch up with, um, with some work that you missed in the bubble. So well done. And to Bed for always being kind and respectful, trying his best in lessons. And from Miss Gundry and Miss Goldwater, we all miss you, those of you at home. And that's for everyone, actually. Again, in group bubble six, uh, Miss Fink. Uh, well done to Nishan for always being so polite, giving 100% in class and to watching your confidence grow. Wonderful. Really good news. Okay. And to Ashley for listening in class, effortlessly, get, effortlessly getting on with your um, online learning and making new friends in the bubble. So well done to Ashley. From uh, Miss Colwell, Mrs. Madison. Okay, in year one to Jaden and Edward for perseverance and presentation in their writing. Awesome stuff. Well done to Tamara and Eric for challenging themselves to be more inventive in your writing. Lovely. I bet you're using some interesting words. Well done. For Adam, great self hesitating. What word is that? I'll try again, Adam. Sorry. Adam, for fantastic self editing in your writing, presumably. So well done to Adam. Okay. And to Hasnat, the great retelling of the story, the using your sounds to label. Brilliant. Okay. And to Mohammed and Dominic for improved stamina in your writing. Well done. And well done to all of you. And well done to everyone Miss Thomason is about to talk about. I'm now going to pin Miss Thomason to the front. She will do the any others in the chat, any others on her list, and she will wrap up the celebration assembly. Well done. And thank you, Mr. Prendergast. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I've got some additional stars this week to give a shout out to. So first of all, Dylan and Kieran from Miss Jackson's Bubble, because they have been helping the teachers sort out the year four cupboard, making sure it's all organised for next year. So thank you for that. From Miss Hand, we have Davina and Natalia for always being amazing role models and being well behaved around the school. Miss Gundry would like to thank Miss Fernandez for helping her retrieve a football from the top of the shed, always being very helpful there. Uh, from Miss Druce, we have Ronnie for being so respectful around school. And then from me, I would like to do a shout out to Bubble 10, who, when I've been working with them, are always so good at conversations in the fact that when I ask them how they are, they remember to actually be polite and ask back, how are you, Miss Thomason, which I always really appreciate. Um, then we have Bubble 9 with Miss Vink, Claudia, Ashley and Kazaya always being so polite on the field and offering to help me with my jobs. My paper were, fly my paper were flying all over the field today. They went and got a stapler for me to make sure they didn't get lost. So thank you. And then uh, Divine and Soul from um, Miss Davis's Bubble, who are just always so kind, respectful and such amazing role models in our school. Really enjoyed seeing them mature. And then finally, I think from all of us, a massive thank you to Mrs Binks, who has continuously been working incredibly hard to make sure all of us are where we're meant to be. She's answering the phone, she's answering questions, she's dealing with the end of the year, preparing for next year. And I would just like to say a big shout out to Mrs Binks, who is always the heartbeat of the school. So thank you. Um, fantastic work, guys, on another amazing week at the Palmer Academy. Very much looking forward to seeing more faces in September. But from us, a big well done to everyone who's got a shout out. And we will see you again next week. Thank you very much.